small alter. I'm going to be going slightly mad. I'm going slightly mad. <laughs> <laughs> Walking out into the countryside at my age. To my rosary, I should be saying. Yeah, oh. well, you know where I get it from. Um, we're outside Tralee here. We're just starting the Kerry Camino. Um, Way, I think. Yeah, we'll figure out stuff as we go along. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll, we don't know much about it, to be honest. Like. Do anyone know anything out there about <laughs> it? So, yeah, hope yeah. you enjoy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Restored in 1960, in the 1960s, um, a couple of sticks to help out, spread the weight around, and uh, yeah. So Blennerville is just a little village outside Tralee. Um, there won't be very many villages along the way. Just camp and. Um, it really and a skull as well and then dingle so uh, yeah it'll be a wild one a wild hike um, I made a video like this on the Spanish Camino the original Camino and and uh, and my dad liked it <laughs> so yeah just said it's just said we'd do one together for the crack if uh, if anyone watches it, great. If no one watches it, no bother. Um, all right, so we're going to stay in camp tonight. So I'm just going to look for my father. I've lost him again. Basically, you can get a, you can get a Camino passport. Um, you can get one. We didn't because the tourist office is closed at the moment. But in normal times, when the tourist office is open, grab a passport and you can stamp along the way, fill it up. Like you don't have to, but it's it's pretty cool. You just stamp your book, close it back up. We stamped our our uh, skin. It'll be wiped off in like five seconds anyway. But I don't know. Whatever you think yourself. Um. Oh yeah, check out, check it out. It's the the terrain. In case anyone is wondering, the terrain. 
so far on the first stretch um, from Tralee to from Tralee to camp it's pretty rugged it's pretty rough um, but it's all walkable like there any anywhere that's really wet has a, a little bridge over it and you'll make it across nice and easy um, I, I like that though I, I prefer it to be a little bit rough because it it makes you feel like you're doing something uh, all right there's some information there for anyone who wants some information <laughs> come here what's your what you think uh, wasn't it same Brendan who walked this way yes why did he go this way fucking Egypt <laughs> No down there, you could have walked down the road like that. Ah, sure. <laughs> that time there was no education. Summertime is coming. Nine months. Can't get across. Uh, Cutting stones with power. Can't get across. Look. God. I have to go home. Back to Clare. Yeah, that should only for the flooding we'd be at pass. Yeah. Look. Rocks. Different stones. Sorry, everyone. In the we'll, video. We'll have to end it here. Okay. Sorry. We figured it out, we figured it out. We're back on the road. We're back on the road. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover on this part of the video because I forgot to at the time. And there's just a big long awkward silence that I feel I need to fill. And I can't really fill it with music because it doesn't make sense. And I don't really want to record one for this particular section. But I hope you're enjoying the music so far. And I recorded them all myself, some original, some well-known classics. So this is a church. Uh, I've forgotten the details now, but uh, it is a church and it is old. There I am there now going around. Yeah, it is a church, all right. 
Um, ribbon, ribbons on the tree there. That's a nice little touch. Nice little keepsake memory. And this is, uh, okay, we're getting back to it again. We're getting back again. All right. <laughs> we made it to camp safe and sound. So that's day one complete. Um, day one was 18 kilometers. Day two is around the same and day three is around the same. And it's incredibly beautiful. More tomorrow. On day two of the Kerry Camino, and we're about seven kilometers in. We're on our way from camp to Anaskal, where we're going to stop at Inch Beach as well today because Inch, Inch is a little village, and there's a, a beach there that stretches on for a few kilometers. It's absolutely stunning, and there's a cafe, so well worth a stop if you're doing this, if you're doing this walk. And today has been all these little country lanes through farms and we're making friends with the sheep, the, the space sheep, because we're in outer space now. This is the highest point we'll get to, I think, on day two. Um, well, it was a steep enough ascent earlier on, but it's grand like on these roads. So yeah, in case anyone is wondering as well, it's all very well signposted. There are little arrows all along the way to take in inspiration from the Spanish Camino from that. Um, so you can't go, you can't go wrong really. You can't go missing. Well, I say that now, but yeah, you'll 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 get there. Fair play to you. skull there now um slowly but surely if you can see that line in the middle of the screen that's the road into the village and uh yeah it's one of those villages that just gets further and further away the more you look at it but um we're getting there we're getting there now we're getting there and it's it's just gorgeous around here all sorts of colors and we're almost wrapping up day two
Minard Castle, uh, still standing strong after 500 years, imagine. Jesus, I'm only 32 and I'm f***ed already. Um, uh, Minard Castle was built here on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, I believe in 1650, Oliver Cromwell and his buddies came over from England. And they tried to detonate it to the ground. But they failed. Uh, now, unfortunately, uh, they killed everyone in the castle and everyone around the castle. Um, but the castle is still there. We got a race here now. It's gonna be it's gonna be neck and neck. Go on. Hey, I got you. I oh, just about beat him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy. Best doggy. Best doggy. Best doggy. Okay. Okay, we're almost halfway to Dingle on the final day of the trek. And it's a cracking day. Sunshine, splitting the rocks. So we've had four seasons over the past three days. As usual, like in Ireland. Um, I hope you can see all of these colours. It's like it's like jumping into a kaleidoscope around here. Are very vibrant, and we're feeling. How are we feeling? Oh, a bit, small bit tired, but getting there. Yeah. A Any... tough, tough climb down on the last kilometre or two. But we're up at the top, and I think we'll be more or less downhill from here on. Nice one, nice one. That sounds good and, to me. Uh, Any pains? No pains, no pains. Uh, maybe I'm a bit of a pain, but other than that, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Talk to you in Dingle. straight coming into Dingle coming in strong it's, a, it's still around two or three kilometers away but we can see it we can see our destination we made it we're at uh, St. James's Church, St. James's Church, which is the official uh, finish point here in, in Dingle. And uh, feeling stiff, fairly stiff. Oh no, I'm oh, grind, <laughs> really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another hundred. Yeah. Another hundred, all right. Go on, yeah, so. Like... Go on, so. Um, yeah, it was breathtakingly beautiful, the scenery earlier on. I hope I captured some of it on the on the phone. 
Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we're home now, safe and sound. I know you were all worried about us there towards the end. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we, we came back uh, to annoy everybody again. Yeah. Well, you thought the video was finished, <laughs> but you're not escaping that evenly now. Um, so yeah, a great experience. What would you say was your favourite part? Oh, there were so many. Um, walking through the mountains for three days, nobody around, literally. Only mm. maybe in a few places we stopped in camp and, and a skull. Um, yeah. I think we only met five people or thereabouts. Yeah, and I think we spoke to about four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, including a farmer. Including from farmer. Kerry, who couldn't build on his own land, imagine that. Yeah, but even though uh, he, he wasn't happy with the planning authorities yeah. in, in, in Kerry. But if, if, we, if we go into that now, it'll be a whole new documentary. <coughs> yeah, we might make one later on, on planning laws in Ireland yeah. and brown envelopes and this one. <laughs> but that could be cut out. Huh? But, uh, it could be. Uh, would you have any recommendations? Like, what to bring? Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't get any younger, but um, doing a small little bit of research before we went, I decided I don't use a walking stick, but these are poles people use for walking. Therefore, I decided to go to a local hideaway in my own parish and I found, lo and behold, I found four poles that were cut. Some people must have cut and left them. I, I, I brought them home and we used those. They were a big, big help. Yeah. Particularly in the rough ground. We stayed in three different locations, a uh, camp and a skull and, and uh, Dingle. Um, just mention John Diles in 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 camp, uh, very nice people. And John and the dog. And the dog we yeah. on very well, but the receptionist told us where the nearest disco is. So Therefore, we had everything sorted. It was especially for over 70s. Yeah. It was a, we had a great night. <laughs> <laughs> we recommend it to anyone watching, if anyone's still watching. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful spot, beautiful part of the world. And, you know, we, I think as Irish people, we always feel like we need to take our holidays in foreign countries or, you know, go overseas. And that's brilliant as well. But there's so many little nuggets of... Mm -hmm heaven in Ireland that we don't even realise that are there and uh, we, it kind of, we knew like we've been down there before but we never hiked through it um, but we knew it was going to be nice but kind of surprised us I think a bit yeah would recommend it um, would I do it again I would uh, maybe a different road but yeah I'd do it again but yes, if my legs keep up <laughs> <laughs> fingers crossed alright we'll uh, we'll wrap it up there thanks a million for watching hope okay. you enjoyed the documentary <clears throat> and uh, feel free to share like or comment it all helps all done by my son Pa ah there's a bit there by, the, by the your son <laughs> thank you thank you no <laughs> please don't even tell us you bother like a couple of hundred like cut cut <laughs> 2000 maybe <laughs>